The history of game streaming has been a tumultuous one, but NVIDIA is taking strides toward a future where it's actually a usable thing. Their game stream technology allows you to stream games from your PC to an NVIDIA Shield device, provided you're running an NVIDIA GPU and GeForce experience. But what if you just can't bring yourself to buy a Shield? Well, you're not completely out of luck. Limelight is a free Android app available on the Play Store since last year that kind of reverse engineer the game stream technology to stream games to any supported Android device. So you can stream to your phone. Then the question becomes, how do you control the game? Let's find out together. <laughs> Buy select AMD A10 APUs at NCIX and get Sniper Elite 3, Murdered Soul Suspect, or Thief free. So what will you need for this little experiment? You'll want a PC with an NVIDIA graphics card from the 600 series or later, a mid to high end wireless router with a good connection to your Android device on the 5 GHz band if possible, and an Ethernet cord running to your PC. You'll need a way to control the game from your phone, which is most likely some kind of controller, and if it's a wired solution, you're going to need a USB on-the-go cable, OTG cable as well as a USB cable for connecting to the controller from your phone. I also tried a mouse and Bluetooth keyboard, uh, which was kind of interesting. I'll talk about that later. So my setup, I was running this on my work PC, which is a running a i7-4770 and a GeForce GTX 760. This JCG dual band router, and I also tried this Western Digital single band router, and I uh, had varying degrees of success. So when you open the app, you're just presented with a simple list of computers, or lack thereof, that are on the same network as you. Uh, a couple times the app would recognize my PC, but say it's offline or something, even though I was using it. So you may have to enable port forwarding to connect, uh, but fortunately, there's lengthy instructions and frequently asked questions on the XDA developers thread for the app. If you need to troubleshoot connection problems, those will be linked in the description. And they also have two buttons for add PC manually, so you can attempt to add uh, your PC using your IP address, which never worked for me. Other people have said it worked for them, but I, I could never get it to work. As well as streaming settings, you can change the quality like 720p to 1080p and frame rate as well. The default is 720p uh, 60 FPS. So anyways, once your PC is recognized, you tap to connect. It will send a pairing request to your PC. You enter the code displayed on your phone and you're connected. So now you're presented with a list of games as well as Steam. Steam will automatically open in big picture mode if you want to do that, and you can use it and select any game and play it. I also tried Battlefield 4, which uses Origin, and it's kind of weird because Origin opens a browser tab, then you have to choose a server, and then it goes into the game, and it was kind of janky, but it, it, I still got in and played, but it was kind of weird getting there. So now you're streaming your game to your phone, but it's kind of hard to play PC games with a touchscreen, okay? So how do you control it? Fortunately, I was testing this on Jack's Sony Xperia Z2, which comes with built-in plug-and-play functionality for the PS3 controller, although he did have this little Hulk guy on there the whole time, and it was kind of annoying. I'm not sorry! He's not sorry. Okay. But anyways, uh, yeah, you can just plug in your PS3 controller with the OTG cable and the uh, mini USB cable, and uh, it just works. You go to the Xperia connectivity uh, tab, and it'll 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 do the whole thing for you. If you want to use another controller, it's going to be a whole nother ball game. There are solutions all over the internet for using Xbox uh, or PlayStation controllers with random Android phones, and nearly all of them require you to root your phone. Uh, neither my phone nor Jack's is rooted, so I didn't want to go down that path. Suffice to say, if you really want to use a console controller with your phone, you'll probably need to root, and Google is your friend in that case. Uh, there's apps on the Play Store that you can probably find pretty easily. I don't want to recommend any because I didn't actually use any, and I don't want to be responsible for you getting Heartbleed virus on your phone or something. It's not a virus. I know it's not a virus! Shh. Now just for kicks, I figured I would try and one-up the shield type experience with a controller and game with keyboard and mouse while streaming real PC style. Android already has plug and play mouse capabilities anyways and Bluetooth keyboards are easy to connect, so it should totally work, right? <laughs> and no. Turns out there's something about the Bluetooth connection and the Wi-Fi streaming that just kind of screws up the keyboard and Battlefield 4 was just a hot mess. I was like holding down the W key and it would be like going going, not going, 
It was really, it was really weird. If you have a Bluetooth keyboard or mouse lying around, feel free to try it for yourself. But uh, yeah, I did not get good results. Now I was able to play with the DualShock 3 controller connected uh, without too much lag, both on the 2.4 gigahertz band from the WD router, as well as the five gigahertz band on the JCG. And I actually didn't notice a huge difference between the two, but that may be because we're not uh, inundated with a bunch of random Wi-Fi signals. Uh, playing a brawler like Batman Arkham Origins, Arkham Origins, oranges, oranges. Playing a brawler like Batman Arkham Origins is fine with minimal delay, but playing a Twitch shooter, you may have a bad time if your router isn't the best top 10 most good router out there. The app handily tells you the latency in milliseconds when you start and end your session, so you can tell quantitatively whether different configurations are actually working better. So that's that's nice. Unfortunately, no matter what I tell you, this kind of thing is the kind of thing where you have to play around for yourself. Try different things and figure out what works best with your situation. Leave a comment below if you tried legit game stream with a shield or tried this limelight kind of ghetto game stream. Let me know how you got along. Well, that about wraps it up for this video, guys. Thanks for watching. Like the video if you feel like it, and don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this from NCIX.